Me there as well. Yeah, everyone move stack up behind help. Okay. Dark. Okay. Hey, is it clear? Yep, clear. Stuck. Hey, passing. Passing. Stuck. Passing. Friendly front. Okay, guys, uh, hold me. Thank you, covered. Sorry, guys, just hold, hold up a second. Ah, oh, I'm gonna. I thought this was gonna be easier. I thought you guys, the two sections would be nice and close. And we could, we could dish out orders to both of you. Anyway, that's not quite how I envisaged it being. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna introduce a new element now to the um, to your movement, and that is a target building for you to assault and clear. Although the actual fish element um, obviously won't be by the book because you haven't done it yet. Um, but what I propose is uh, for you to assault that building directly, t well, sort of east ish. Um, you can see it, I'll give you a grid order. Zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, zero, one, zero, zero, seven, four, three, eight. Um, it's not a barn. We can see it from here, straight ahead, behind the, uh, behind the fence. I thought you were going to get the wrong grid. Oh yeah, yeah, that um, warehouse building we yeah, was next we were to the before. Yeah. Okay guys, so um, if you're approaching a target in a built area, uh, there's two key uh, points you need to uh, move through. First one is the um, forming, up point, the forming up point, which is uh, identified by the IC, section IC, um, immediately prior to commencing the um, movement. Um, in this instance, that could be pretty much anywhere where you've got some decent cover and then preferably not too far from the target. And um, preferably also uh, identify a line of departure from that before you move to that point. Although it may not be practical if you don't know, if you don't have a map of the area and you can't tell what's going to be, what you're going to be able to see from your forming up point. But essentially it's two phases, forming up, then you move to your line of departure and then you commence your assault onto the target. So if you want to proceed um, on that basis with, I'm guessing, fire teams of two and three men, um, someone in fire support role, and uh, the other section assaulting and, and clearing the building. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, it's, it's going to be interesting because you guys have probably haven't done it before um, in a built-up environment like this. So let's have a go, and then I'll um, and then we can analyse it to do a quick debrief afterwards. So continue your movement, continue your obvious or fibula movement from here uh, to your line of departure and then what's your F FUP and then we'll um, yeah, and crack on from one, there. 1-3 Charlie, Jeff, Bravo. Right, he'll remember. Zero Bravo, 1-3 Charlie, go ahead. The guy, last guy passes you. 1-3 Charlie, zero Bravo, reach the pie, on route, tell me you at 0 0 7 9 uh, yep. 7 4 2 6 say again, okay, building 0 0 9 7 4 2 6 south side, now copy over. Passing. Passing. Stack. Zero Bravo, one three Charlie's copy. Moving there now for resupply. One three, no hurry. Yeah. Zero Bravo, one three Charlie, copy. Clear. It's clear. Covering. Passing. Passing. Crossing. Crossing. Clear. Radio. Okay, we've got the front. If we've got the front two people, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat on the building. 
Okay, you see the blue open door? Uh, no, I don't want to go through this. Cage, where are you? I'm going to take you, Lawrence, and Hill, and stack up on that blue door there. Libits. Once yeah. they're there, I want you to move up and cover them with the GPMG. As they go through, I want you behind them, give them about yep. a four metre distance, so that if anything happens to them, you can just spray the shit out of the area, yeah? Uh, so you want... So they move to the door, then they go in, and then they go to the door, the blue door, covering them. Yeah, for every room they go through, I want to stay in just one room behind them to cover them. So if anything happens, you can put big spray down and come back out. Okay. Ready. Go, go, go. Passing. Stack. Stack. Breaching. Breaching. Taking left. Taking right. Go on, I've got the rear yeah, Copy. Fuck. Oh, Copy. Ready to breach in uh, five seconds over. Top floor clear. Limits, go cover that door. Go, go, go. Covering. Copy. Covering the two open doors, two open doors covered. Mm -hmm. Alright. Room clear. I'm going to do uh, two things today, possibly three if we get the time. Um, first thing is a very briefing on rules of engagement, which is something we've been trying to get uh, throughout of late, and I've been doing a bit of research, which so you get the benefit of wisdom, or I should say the Ministry of Defence's wisdom lightly edited. Um, the second thing is uh, fish and chips, which is amusing acronyms, but um, very important skills and quite distinct skills as well. Fish, for those of you who haven't done it with me before, fighting in somebody's house the art of actually moving into and clearing a structure in an urban environment um, rather than fighting the urban environment itself and chips uh, beautifully uh, and causing havoc in the streets or the art of actually fighting in an urban environment than the specific art of clearing houses. We certainly get into the first one of those today and I think you've been doing a bit of the second with the LT, is that correct? Correct sir. Yep. Excellent news. So when you're in your sections, if there's eight men to a section, that means you have two fives of four each, which means you have uh, three pairs of two each. They're generally known as Charlie Team 1, Charlie Team 2, Delta Team 1, Delta Team 2, or shorthand Charlie 1, Charlie 2, to 1, Delta 2. Um, the reason for this is so that the IC can, if necessary, control those teams within uh, the uh, house or other structure that you're trying to clear. And generally, breaching is done in pairs. Um, usually when uh, presented with uh, a closed room, which you're about to breach, one of those teams will approach the door, stack either side of it, and they will have decided amongst themselves, or will do so then, which man is to throw uh, the flashbang or grenade, uh, and which man is to operate the door. Um, and operating the door will shout door. He will open the door. The man operating the flashbang or grenade will shout flash grenade. They will throw the grenade or flash through the door. After the grenade or flashbang has gone through the door, the doorman will then close it. It's important he closes it after, not before. A pretty bloody obvious reason, but I guarantee that some of you will do it the other way around. Uh, um, as soon as that uh, device is detonated, they then both enter the room, weapons up, one left, one right, uh, they move through the room, firing any targets as necessary, and they take a position in the two diagonally opposite corners of the room which best cover it. In the example room in front of us, those two would be the, the uh, right front, I look at it, and the left rear as I look at it, uh, and as all of you look at it. So those would be the most advantageous positions from which to cover that room. That means that they can focus their attention on the as yet unopened door, but also retain the capability to cover the door that they've just entered through. Does that make re reasonable to everyone? Yes. Okay, so the and system I've just described there is essentially breaching against a, a perceived high threat. You don't go around checking 
flashbangs through people's uh, doors while shouting British Army if you don't believe that there's someone pretty bad in there. What, I'm going to, what we're going to do is practice that and then we're going to move through some other threat scenarios, both a low threat one and an even higher threat where you think there might be a risk of um, armed enemy actually waiting for you in that room or indeed an IED present. Um, we'll try and rattle through it quickly. Basically, we'll do the technique a few times with each of you and everybody watching for critique and comments and then uh, I'll get you all to do some individual practice in pairs for 10 minutes or so and then we'll come back and we'll move on to how to stitch it together to clear whole houses. Make sense to everyone? Yep. Okay, yep. can I get uh, one section, Charlie 1 stacked up. If you move through the door or immediately on the outside and then back up on the door to your immediate right once you've done that um, agree amongst yourself who's going to be the flashbang and who's going to operate the door and I want to see you move in and clear that room. Uh, I'll go right, you go left. Roger. Flash ready. Flash ready. Opening door. Flash out. Closing Very door. nice. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Bridging. Are we, are we, are we? Are we, are we, are we, are we? Move right, move right. Clear right. Very nice. Wow, wicked. Yep, very nice indeed. Okay, so we had everything there. Flashbang went in nicely. Good, good uh, vocals and a very clear room clear, and that would let this. Through. 